Hey guys, so I am doing my July favorites. I know I usually film I usually film my favorites on the last day of the month, but my birthday is the 31st, so the end of July is always kind of busy for me, so I wanted to get this filmed and out of the way now, depending on when I get it uploaded, I have no idea. Um, so I don't have too many this month, but pretty much everything is beauty related, so um, the one not beauty related thing, will you get down please? She always wants to be in the... I think it's just when I start talking to the camera she thinks I'm talking to her or something. Can you sit down please? Come on. Get down. Sit. So the first thing, and this is the only uh, not beauty related thing I guess, is the horror block. And I still have my address on here, but um, this is a monthly subscription service that they just started, so the July block was the first one. This is by the people that do nerd block and then they have they have two for kids too, like a boy one and a girl one. Um, but this is their first horror one and I was so happy with this one. Um, I did unbox this but Steven and I did it on our uh, vlog channel so I'll put the link to that video below if I remember, hopefully I do, um, of everything that was in it. I was so happy with it, and that's like, I got, um, we did the loot crate for one month, and then the next month I ended up canceling it because it was all Transformers stuff, and neither one of us likes Transformers. Um, so this one's a little bit more expensive because, will you sit down please? It gets shipped from Canada, so the shipping is 10 bucks, so it's like, it's $30 altogether, but it was so worth it for the stuff I got in it. Um, you get a guaranteed t-shirt every month, which is awesome. The t-shirt in that one was a Freddy Krueger one, which again, if you're a horror movie lover, then you'll definitely like the box, because it's just full of awesome. And then they even, um, they sent a full-size pop figure, and then they sent one of the little... Uh, the full size one was the bicycle, zo bicycle girl zombie from The Walking Dead, which is awesome because I just started collecting the pop figures. And then the mini one was Captain Spaulding, who is like my favorite horror movie character ever, and I was super excited. Um, like I said, you can go watch that video, I will link it below. So, that out of the way, everything else is pretty much beauty related. Um, some of this stuff I think I haven't even talked about yet. Some of it I filmed for a haul and I don't think that'll be up before this but I'm gonna just get right into it. Um, this is the Candies Cotton Candy Body Wash from Kohl's. I got this from Kohl's. Um, look how much of it I've gone through. <laughs> and I've since bought another one and I had a backup of this one anyway and I'm kind of upset because I think they're getting rid of them. They were on clearance for $3.50 and I just love the smell of this so much, and I know I'm not going to be able to get it again, so I'm like stocking up, and you go pr through it pretty fast, because I'm already that, I got it at like the beginning of July, and I'm already that far through it. Um, so that's the first thing. Next thing is this brush from, I did a whole video about these, like Sigma, they're just like the Sigma brushes, but they don't have the Sigma name on it, and this is the, it's like a flat top concealer brush. This makes blending concealer so flawlessly easy. It You can stipple it on and then blend it out and it's just, it's been awesome. It just makes it look airbrushed and pretty much everything great about a brush is in this one. <laughs> Does that even make sense? But it's super soft. It just, I love it so much and it's dirty because I used it today for my concealer. I have a big ol' zit right here, but you can hardly tell because this brush is so awesome. Um, I do have a fail this month, but I'll save that for last, I guess. Um, Alright, next thing is the Jane Waterproof Eyeliners. Water Resistant Eyeliners. These babies are awesome. I have the purple one on my lower lash line today because I kind of just did neutral eyeshadow, so I wanted some color in there. And I usually hate wearing liner on my lower lash line, but these stay all day, which is awesome because they're only six bucks. Again, I got these at Kohl's. Kohl's sells Jane now. Um, but the lime green one is so awesome. They're just twist up liners, which are like above all else. I think the twist up liners are my favorite kind as long as they're soft and creamy like this. 
they're so pigmented it's crazy so I've been the lime one is kind of hard to wear but I like I like using it with the Urban Decay electric palette because a lot of those colors go nicely with this and it's just gorgeous gorgeous the purple's awesome that's what I have on my lower lash line and then the other one I have is teal um, it's like a really really dark teal and I think they sent me this one by accident because I had ordered the black glitter one and I, I don't know but I like the teal one too it's pretty um, next thing is going to be obvious because I've been raving about this. It's the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and I have the color Dark Brown. This stuff is awesome. I've just, this is like my go-to brow product now. I still use the um, brow powder all the time but only like on the inner section of my brows. Get down. Get down. <sighs> um, but yeah, I just love that it holds your brows in place. You don't need brow gel. Uh, it doesn't, the initial reason why I put off buying this so long was because I didn't want super dark dramatic brows. And, I mean, you can go dramatic with them and overdraw them and everything, but you can make them look natural too, which I really, really love. Next thing is something I bought a while ago and I hadn't been using and then I just rediscovered and fell in love with it. This is the OCC Lip Tart in Hollywood which is just like a shimmery champagne color that looks really silly if you try it and wear it on its own but I've been using it with darker lip colors I have it on today um, the lip color the brownish taupey lip color is um, Kat Von D's Lolita liquid lipstick and then I just put this on the center and kinda of pat it and it gives like a really nice highlight in the center of your lip so um, it works with pretty much any darker lip color like that and looks really nice. I like it. I've been using this a ton. Um, and then the last favorite is, like I said, I did a video about this, but I think this favorites video is going to be up before the other video. Um, the Pulp Fiction palette from Urban Decay. This is the only thing I got from the Pulp Fiction collection. And I didn't know if I was going to like it or not because I have so many neutral palettes. But... This is what it looks like. That's what I have on for eyeshadows today. Uh, it's like a perfect brown smoky eye palette and it's just lovely. I have uh, every color on except for the black. So that's what's on my eyes. And there, I don't know why, but these are like the smoothest, creamiest Urban Decay eyeshadows ever. They're just like buttery and super pigmented. Um, so I'm glad I got it. I didn't end up regretting it. See, that's just the cream color. It's insanely pigmented. Um, really, really like it, and I'm happy that I ended up getting it because I wasn't going to. <laughs> Alright, and then the last thing. And you guys are going to be floored when I say that my fail is a Kat Von D product. I got one of her new lipsticks. <laughs> um, it's probably a good thing that I only ordered one to start off with because... Everybody's having the same issue with the matte ones. I ended up getting the color Coven, which is like the the lavender shade. And the packaging is gorgeous. It's got like the studded lipstick tube and the her little monogram on the side. And look at the color. The color is gorgeous. Um, but it's like... I've heard it mostly with the matte lipsticks in her new lipstick line. They're super dry. <laughs> like, it's so dry that it skips and it doesn't apply evenly on your lips. I can make it work if I mix it with, um, like a pink or something that's got a much creamier texture, but other than that, I can't wear it on its own and it's a huge bummer. I'm so glad I didn't order several of the matte finishes because I don't think I'm going to get any more mattes from that line. Now I'm curious to how the other finishes are. Hopefully they're not as dry, but there's like shimmery ones and satin finishes and stuff. But the mattes, stay away from the mattes. And this is coming from someone who loves the Kat Von D line and usually loves every single thing that she puts out. But the matte, matte lipsticks, man, it's like, I don't know. They didn't do enough testing or something because 
At first I thought I had a bad one and then I started hearing everybody say how dry they were and it's just, it's a bummer. It doesn't really dry your lips out, but it's got such a dry texture that it applies ugly, <laughs> put it that way. It's all patchy and uh, it's such a bummer because I loved this color so much. Uh, I figured I would get asked to compare it to um, Dodgy Girl, is that the name of the, yeah, Dodgy Girl from uh, the Kelly Osbourne collection and it's nowhere close. The Dodgy Girl one is way more pink than, I don't know why that was described as a lavender in the first place, but Coven from the Kat Von D line is like a true lavender, which is why I wanted it so badly and I wanted it to work, but it's definitely didn't work for me, so. Um, that's it for my favorites and my one fail before Izzy ends up knocking the camera down. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video.